welcome to this edition of Facebook Live. My name is Lydia Martin. I'm the Chief Communications Officer here in St. Lucie Public Schools, and it's my pleasure to be able to welcome our guest today, Jane Whitaker, who is our coordinator of our magnet school programs, and Lori Boyer, who is our outreach specialist for these magnet school programs. Today, they're going to share some information about three schools, Creative Arts Academy, CAST, Sam Gaines Academy of Emerging Technologies, and Fort Pierce Westwood Academy, the West Prep Magnet. And we look forward to hearing all about the wonderful programs that we have. So at this time, I'm going to turn it over to Jane. Thanks, Lydia. And hello, everyone. And we are excited to be here to be able to share with you about the St. Lucie Public Schools Magnet programs. And today, we have just a quick agenda that we want to share with you on the various things that we're going to be covering. So many people may be new to our area and may not know exactly what is an NSAT magnet grant and what schools are included in this current grant. So we're going to talk about that. What programs are offered at the NSAT magnet schools? What is the application process? And then at the very end, we're going to have a time for question and answers with Lydia. So that's going to be our program for today. So let's start, first of all, what is an MSAT Magnet Program grant? So this is actually a grant, a federal grant, that St. Lucie Public Schools was awarded in 2017. We are currently entering our fourth year, which is hard to believe. This is an extremely competitive grant, and we received 12 and a half, a little over $12.5 million through this grant, which is a five-year grant. And this has given us the opportunity to revitalize three of our current schools. So those schools include CAST, which is Creative Arts Academy of St. Lucie, as Lydia mentioned, which is our K-8 through performing arts school. And it's located on the north end of St. Lucie County on Delaware Avenue. Samuel Gaines Academy of Emerging Technologies is our K-8 STEM school, STEM Academy, which is located on Jenkins Road in Fort Pierce. And finally, we have Fort Pierce Westwood Academy, the West Prep Magnet, which is our high school, 9th through 12th grade, which is our STEAM high school, which provides a, a seamless pathway for students at CAST and at the STEM to move to a STEAM school, which is science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. So the first school that we want to share with you about is one that is near and dear to my heart. I was a former music, music teacher for about 17 years. And so the Creative Arts Academy is it's very near and dear to my heart. This is a K through eight, as we said, and the programs include music, vocal and instrumental, music, musical theater, drama, dance, visual arts, and graphic arts. And the principal at this school is Dr. Lori Reed. Some of the things that really set CAST apart are some, these are a few of the things that we wanted to share with you today, are an arts integration across all content areas. And what that means is the arts are visible in every content, whether it's science, technology, if it's media, if it's social studies, that you see an arts focus in each of the academic classes. It's arts focused makerspace that was created with Lego Education, and we'll talk a little bit about our partnerships later on in the show. And what else makes it very unique is that the students in grades three through eight receive two arts focused electives, which is very unique to other, other schools, both K-5 and, and um, K, K through eight schools. And additionally, Students in K through two are on a fine arts wheel, which really provides all the students the foundational skills to really experience all of those art content and really find out what areas it is that they are truly interested in pursuing. Then we wanted to share just a few little highlights. You know, when you can't see things face to face, this gives us a chance to share some highlights of the school in this past year. Um, you're going to see this is a stunning performance that this. Dance students actually participated in the district's Night of the Stars, which this is this was a huge deal for the students at CAST because they were the first and only middle school students to perform um, for this special night. That's a district night of recognition for our teachers and staff um, across the district, and it was a phenomenal. They they brought the house down with this performance. It was absolutely amazing. The next thing we wanted to share too was um, some of our vocal students at CAST were selected to perform at the Sunrise Theater, which is a, a local 
Theater in Fort Pierce, and they performed with the off-Broadway ABBA Mania. So you see some of the vocal students singing there with the people who were portraying. If anybody knows um, the group ABBA from the 70s and 80s, that was, that was a very popular time in my era. And our students got a chance to perform live with some of the, some of the actors and actresses. And then finally, we want, we want to focus on our um, visual arts students who actually, these students won a peace poster contest, which was part of um, St. Lucie County. And to really be able to showcase our visual arts students um, have done a phenomenal job as well. And we want to share too that we have some amazing instructors that are providing fine arts instruction in all content areas. And soon we'll be sharing some video virtual tours with everyone on our St. Lucie Public Schools website to really give you a closer look at what is happening at these schools. Here are some other exceptional um, programs that we wanted to share with you. You can see a picture of the, the newly renovated uh, dance studio up there on the top left and students outside creating um, stage design and platforms for performances. There you can see in the middle, they're outside painting and getting ready for a big um, perf uh, musical performance. And then some of our students in band and um, also elementary theater. So that highlights some of the special programs that we have at CAST. And I wanna turn it over to Lori and she's gonna share about Samuel Gaines Academy of Emerging Technologies. Thank you, Jane. Um, as Jane mentioned, I'm excited to share some information with you about Samuel S. Gaines Academy of Emerging Technologies. They are the K-8 STEM school in our district. Exciting news is that they were a B-rated school for the first time in the history of the school. So through the fantastic efforts of the teachers and students at that school site, they have achieved a B rating for the first time. The principal at Samuel S. Gaines Academy is Mr. Keith Davis. And some of the wonderful programs that they offer are computer coding, Lego educational robotics, Minecraft education, and Project Lead the Way with engineering and robotics as well as design and automation. So definitely wonderful programs to you know, spark the interest of various students. In addition, Sam Gaines has received some major recognition over this past year. They applied to be a Leader in Me um, model lighthouse school and they actually were hosting the, the Florida State Convening of Leader in Me Model Schools in October of 2020. Um, Leader in Me is a great program that utilizes Stephen Covey's seven habits of highly effective students to build and develop the leadership skills and traits that reside within students. So it's a wonderful culture that is um, created on that campus utilizing Leader in Me. Another major recognition, um, they're the first of its kind on the Treasure Coast, is that Samuel, and Ga Samuel S. Gaines was nationally recognized as a Microsoft Incubator Showcase School. This is a great recognition for their um, digital blueprint that they infuse and integrate into their classrooms on a daily basis. So they're re really utilizing various Microsoft applications at, their, at its highest level throughout K through eight classrooms. In addition, a wonderful um, opportunity. All kids tend to love gaming, right? So they were selected as one um, of the districts along with 29 throughout the US and Canada to participate in the Dell's Girls Who Game program. That began in September of 2020, and it affords girls an opportunity to utilize um, Minecraft education to understand STEM opportunities and careers for, for girls to take part in. So this has been a great after-school program that has been um, started in a virtual platform. And we're really excited to see this continue to learn and grow and expand out to other um, groups as well at the school. In addition, Sam Gaines is really proud of their partnership with LEGO. Um, due to their, their infusion in the classroom with LEGO education, um, utilizing maker spaces and such, they were actually selected to pilot the LEGO Spike Prime teacher training modules. Um, the teachers, they're learning and the designing with the Spike Prime LEGO kits, and they're the first school to receive this training nationally. So they're working currently with US LEGO partners as well as the partners in Denmark to bring this to their campus. So we're really proud for that international recognition and opportunity. 
Some other fantastic things you can see happening in these pictures here at Sam Gaines. Um, you'll see hands-on opportunities in, in classrooms in K through 8 for robotics. Um, the picture in the bottom right brings a smile to my face because his expression is priceless, having the opportunity to utilize robotics in his classroom. In addition, you'll see in the middle picture, it highlights some of the Lego um, being utilized in the design challenge and makerspace classes. As well as in the top left, you can see some of the technology integration utilizing fantastic learning management uh, programs such as Nearpod uh, to you know, increase student engagement and really um, enhance their learning opportunity. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it back over to Jean so she could share about the great things happening at West Prep. Thanks, Lori. So as we think about CAST, Creative Arts Academy of St. Lucie, and Samuel Gaines Academy of Emerging Technologies, these programs prepare students for that seamless pathway to go to high school. And we're very excited to share a lot of the amazing programs that are happening at West Prep. And the principal is Mr. Jo Joseph Lusso. And as we mentioned, this is a STEAM magnet high school. So Fort Pierce Westwood Academy is actually the only STEAM magnet high school on the Treasure Coast. So we are very, very proud to say that. So if you think about the, the four counties around us, and this is the only school of its kind, and it's located here in St. Lucie Public Schools. The next thing we want to share is the advanced curriculum. They are part of the Cambridge University ACE Diploma Program which is Advanced International Certificate of Education. And many people may be familiar with the IB program, which is in the International Baccalaureate. But this, is, this program is actually through Cambridge University, and it provides advanced curriculum, the inquiry-based learning, collaboration with students, and really delving into that critical thinking and really providing students a global perspective. So um, the advanced curriculum that is, is being implemented in this school and has been highly engaged and the students are doing extremely well in advancing their um, their academic progress. The next thing we wanted to share with you as well are some of the science and medicine programs. These really prepare students for healthcare science professions and these new and enhanced programs in the medical area include pharmacy tech, health unit coordinator, agri-science and veterinary tech. And again, when we get a chance to share these virtual tours with you, you'll get an inside look about what these programs really have to offer. Lori? All right, so let's talk a little bit, little bit about technology and design. Um, in these courses, uh, it really is preparing students for future ready skills. We want to make sure that they're ready to compete in the global market out there. So they have the opportunity to work with the Fab Lab, robotics, 3D printing, shop bots, and a CNC router. In addition, they also are a Project Lead the Way school, and so they have that leadership you know, ever present and on the forefront of their thinking. In addition, they offer computer science programs, um, also focusing on esports and gaming. And they have augmented and virtual reality and drone technology at their fingertips on the campus. So in addition to that, you'll notice that West Prep has um, high-tech program specific software and hardware, innovative instructional practices that are being infused daily in the classrooms. All programs integrate the STEAM theme, so they have great things like uh, Stop and STEM Days, which are really, you know, great hands-on learning opportunity for students. And they have strong partnerships with, with leaders in innovative industries. At Fort Pierce Westwood Academy, the West Prep Magnet, um, they also utilize augmented reality technology for the medical exploration and diagnosis. So they have some really um, wonderful technology that's able to be even utilized there in the medical field, really bringing that real world experience into that classroom. They also are career focused mentoring opportunities um, that they afford to their students. And students apply technology skills across their programs. In addition, they have premier teams for the Scholastic, Sch Florida Scholastic Esports League. Um, so that is where it's not just gaming to game with esports, it's Scholastic Esports, which infuses um, business acumen into their learning to ensure that you know, they're, they're really prepared for the various careers that are out there in um, esports. In addition, at all three MSAP Magnet schools, they have implemented the Leader in Me curriculum, which is the Stephen Covey's 
um, seven habits of highly effective people, as I mentioned earlier. So here you could see some pictures of them, um, you know, all the way to the left, that was some of the cast members uh, focusing on the individual habits that they're really um, setting goals with. In the middle, you can see the high school students at West Prep um, teaching other adults about the Leader in Me curriculum. And um, at CAST over there on the right, they're performing on the stage and talking to the goals that they have set. In addition, a great opportunity at all three schools are stop and steam days. So students in K through 12 have the opportunity to focus on hands-on collaborative learning. Um, this is happening both in brick and mortar as well in the virtual environment at this time. And they stop and steam. So they get their hands dirty and really get in there, um, focusing on some of the future ready skills to make them su successful in STEAM careers. So Jane, can you tell us a little bit about the great partnerships that have been created at these three schools? Sure. So we are very, very proud of the partnerships that we've been able to establish with these three schools. And some of these we want to share with you. Um, many of them, I'm sure that folks in the audience are very familiar with. Lego, Lego Education is one of our premier partners who have helped in the design of the maker spaces that are located at all three magnet schools um, and makes them unique for each one and really established a unique arts focused maker space at CAST and then of course a more STEM focused maker space and robotics experience at Samuel Gaines and at West Prep. Microsoft has been a huge partner. They also provided some amazing professional development opportunities to our teachers and staff across all three schools this past fall. And they provide guidance in all of our instructional technology. And we want to send out a, a kudos especially to Lori, uh, Lori, who is <laughs> sitting here with me, and Julia Hill Hillborn as, as well, who were just selected as fellows as part of Microsoft's um, integration mm -hmm. and just fabulous work that they do in establishing a really progressive instructional technology program here for St. Lucie Public Schools. Some of the other ones are um, Black & Decker, Stanley, um, Minecraft Education has been a huge partner as well. We're looking forward to um, establishing some tournaments later on yes. in the year um, for our students. But if you came to check out CAST and Samuel Gaines, you would actually see Minecraft Education being implemented in academic courses. So you can see worlds being created in um, underwater for science and students learning about the habitats underwater. You might um, see Jamestown being created in social studies. It's just a very unique way for students to learn coding and gaming and in an academic presence. And it, it's, it, it's so engaging for the kids. It's been really awesome. Another one of the partners has been uh, NASEF, which is our North American Scholastic Esports Federation out of California. And they have helped us establish the Florida Scholastics affiliate, which Lori and I are part of now. Also, um, A.E. Bacchus, which is just in the backyard, and um, they have created a curriculum specifically for students here in St. Lucie Public Schools to really engage with their community and learning about the art um, with A.E. Bacchus and his impact on visual arts in St. Lucie County, but beyond, obviously, St. Lucie mm -hmm. County and um, throughout the state and throughout the nation with the highwaymen. Then, of course, we have university partners that we have with Full Sail University located in um, Orlando, and we've been able to partner with them, mm -hmm. bringing um, esports to life in St. Lucie County and really working to get, they've been an amazing partner in helping us build our program in esports. And then Indian River State College, of course, um, a huge partner from the beginning, and um, we just appreciate all the work that they do for students throughout St. Lucie Public Schools. And then finally, a new, a relatively new partner is St. Lucie Cultural Alliance, which has been established for St. Lucie County and really bringing the emphasis of arts to our community and bringing the arts to our students and connecting students with uh, local artists and performers. And we're really looking forward to building out this, this partnership in the months to come. So we want to focus a little bit more on how to apply. So yes, you found out about the programs about the magnet schools that are part of the MSAP program, but how do you apply for those schools? And Lori's going to talk about that and let you know what to do. All right, great question. 
So if you're sitting at home and thinking this is the, definitely the right choice for your child, then you'll want to go online to St. Lucie Public Schools' main website to start the online application process. All applications are only taken online. There are no paper applications. Before we go into this too deeply, I'd like to just clarify, especially this comes into play when, it, when we're talking about high schools, um, the difference between a magnet program and an attractor program. Attractor programs are specialized programs that are offered at various high schools. At West Prep, because it's a magnet school, there's only one attractor program there, and that is MOA, which is the Marine Oceanographic Academy. Um, that is a different application than what we're talking about today. Today, we're focusing on the magnet schools programs, and so it would be the magnet school application that you're looking for. So when you go to the main website, you'll see um, at the top there, in the blue banner, there's, um, it's called Department. You'll click on where it says Departments, and you'll choose Student Assignment. Next slide. Perfect. Then once on the next slide, if you scroll down on the right-hand side, you'll see the section that says Applications. If you are new to St. Lucie Public Schools, then you would click on the first link, and you will register for the first time, and then it will afford you the opportunity to click on the Magnet School application. You can proceed from there. However, if you're currently enrolled in St. Lucie Public Schools, you will click on the second link. Once you do that, um, then it'll take you to the next page, which is Skyward. So on here, something to note, this is Skyward Family Access Login ID. This is not your child's 562 number. If you were to log in with your child's 562 number, you will not see a link for an application. So I just wanted to make sure that that's really clear from the get-go. If you, for some reason, do not have your family access login ID, if you contact your child's current school and let them know that you need your family access login, they can provide that for you. So you'll enter that information along with the password and hit submit. Once you do, it'll take you into our Skyward program. So on the next slide, um, you'll see that once you're in, at the top right of the screen, it'll say um, student assignment application. Once you see that student assignment application link, when you click on it, it will then bring you, it'll automatically sign you in to the application program gateway. So once inside, you'll notice on the next screen, this lets you know that it logged you in, and then you'll see the green boxes around the Magnus School application. That is the one that you will click on in order to proceed with your application. So this is for students entering kindergarten through 12th grade can fill out this Magnus School application. Once you click on the Magnus School application, um, you will then have the opportunity, your students will show up in there and it will, um, then you can apply. Um, it literally says apply and you can start to fill that out. Some things to note, so our priority application window is open currently through December 18th. So you want to make sure that you get your priority, your application in during that priority window in order to have the best opportunity to receive a seat. Magnet seats are open to all students in St. Lucie County, regardless of where you reside. So it doesn't matter if you're on the most southern end of the county or most northern end, you can apply for a magnet seat. Please note that it is a random selection process. So a lottery is run once the window is closed um, for the number of seats in each grade level at each school. So probably around that January timeframe, beginning of January is when you'll hear from the student assignment department via email so remember that email address that you use to fill out the application. Um, they will let you know if your child has received a seat at the school for the start of the 2021-22 school year. So please note, filling out the application at this time, um, if you were awarded a seat, it would be for the start of next school year. So at this time, um, that's you know, pretty much the main details that we have to share with you. Um, after that window does close, we will have another window opportunity January through March 6, January 6th through March 6 of 2021, in which you can apply if you do not get it in before the December 18th timeframe. So at this time, we're gonna head on over and uh, turn it over to Lydia for any questions and answers out there. Okay, great. Wow, that's a lot of information, but we do know that this program will be um, recorded and posted for you to be able to go back and watch if you would like. Um, first question, is transportation provided to these schools? Yes, transportation is provided, and once a student receives the seat at the Magnet Schools and actually accepts it, 
then that goes to our transportation department to actually provide an assignment for transportation. You can, as, as Lori mentioned, you can live as far as, you know, the end of the southern part of the county and transportation will be provided to you. So just know that it may not be right at your door, that it may be a community stop, but transportation will be provided to you. Okay, another question um, is if students don't get in on that first round in January, is there another opportunity? Great question. So yes, if, if you do not receive a notification saying that your child has received a seat, then if your application was filled out, then it will be held and run through the second window. So um, student assignment will see what seats are available and then run it during that time. So around that mid-March to end of March timeframe is when you would receive notification um, of that, of receiving a seat. And that's really why that priority window is so key mm -hmm. because you actually have a second option to have your um, application processed through the second window. So when we call that priority, <laughs> we call that priority because you have an extra chance to, to get pulled in through the lottery if you don't get it through the first window. Okay, thank you. What about a traditional wait list if, if the students don't get in in either one of the rounds? Is there going to be a wait list for next year? Great question. So with the MSAT magnet schools, there's not a current wait list at this time due to the fact that we're in that five year time frame of the grant itself. However, for the 2022-23 school year, there will be a wait list that will be established, but not at this time. Another question, are there requirements um, to get into any of the schools? At this time, there are no requirements, just interest. If these are programs that um, interest your students and we encourage you to check them out, but um, they are open to all students. And one of, the, one of the things that most people ask is because of the performing arts school, oftentimes auditions are, are required for those. As long as we are under the magnet grant for the five years, those, um, that's not a permissible um, option for us. And that'll be something that we'll look at as far as um, enrollment requirements once the grant um, life ends. And that'll be in 2022-23. Uh, okay, thank you. If a student is accepted, do they have to then reapply every year moving forward? You know, that's the great part about the MSAT magnet schools is that once you've applied and received a seat and accepted it, then it continues, if you were say in kindergarten, it continues every year up through eighth grade. If you were to choose to then um, attend the high school, which is Fort Pierce West Prep Academy, then you would apply for one of the programs of interest there. Also, can you clarify, um, is this only open to students entering school, meaning like the kindergarten or um, going into middle school in sixth grade or starting high school in ninth grade? Or is it open to all grade levels? Excellent question. So we are excited to share that it's open for students kindergarten through 12th grade. So there's no, um, we did phase it in at one of the schools, but at this point in time, all grade levels are accepting applications and then based on the quantity available at each school will be um, the seats that are selected. Um, a question about the program, some specific programs that were mentioned at West Prep, Pharmacy Tech, Health Unit Coordinator, AgriScience, Veterinary Tech. Are those the only programs that a student could take there? And um, could they take classes from different programs or once they're in a program that's where they're that's the classes they need to take um so it really is dependent on their schedule and class availability typically students um, they do apply for one specific program but um, if there is an opening in their course in which they're in their schedule in which they're able to have another course that's complementary to the program you know that they're currently taking then the guidance counselors would work closely with them to make that happen um, that is not necessarily a guarantee. You're guaranteed the program, you know, in which you applied for, but that is definitely something that they take into consideration um, schedule allowing. Okay, wonderful. Um, and question about the eSports. Mm -hmm. Do the students that are involved in that, are they actually competing against um, students from other schools or are they competing within the school itself? So that's what's really exciting about the eSports program itself is that students have multiple opportunities to compete at various levels. So yes, they do have um, play within their club 
there at the school. Um, in addition, being part of the Florida Scholastic Esports League, um, it affords them play throughout the state of Florida with students in any of the districts that are participating throughout the state. Um, last year alone, there was over 13 of the major counties in, in the state of Florida that are part of the Florida Scholastic Esports League that they can compete with. Also, as part of NACEF, they then get to complete, uh, compete on a national and global level. So things like Minecraft Education, they're hosting tournaments with Mexico City, um, Japan, really all over the world at this time. And then there are, every semester, there are national tournaments um, with NACEF that afford students the opportunity to compete for college scholarships, which is something we're really proud of to bring to the Treasure Coast. Wow, that's, that's really exciting. Um, another question is about the um, cast teachers. Do they have specialized training in the arts? Yes, in fact, each of them um, are, um, have degrees, many of them doctors and master's degrees in their specific areas of expertise. And um, you have elementary music, elementary um, drama, elementary um, visual arts, and then you have the, your middle school teachers who have degrees in dance, drama, uh, musical theater. Um, many of them are professional performers as well, so um, they come with a very, very high, high quality experience, and um, you won't be disappointed when you see the programs that are being offered there. Wonderful, thank you. And can you review the application windows again? Sure. The priority application window is currently open from now through December 18th. So right before that Christmas break begins, you want to make sure to get that application in. Then it will open back up again, the second window, um, January 6th through March 6th. Okay, excellent. And one final question, if someone um, just wants to talk to somebody, they have specific questions that haven't been able to been, be answered up to this point, who should they reach out to about these programs? <laughs> Great question. I would love to talk with you about any questions that you might have um, regarding these programs. So my name is Lori Boyer. My phone number is 772-429-3643, or you could email me at lori.boyer at stlucyschools with an S dot org. And I'm happy to take any questions that you might have. Also on that note, if you don't um, mind, keep an eye out for the um, St. Lucie Public Schools Facebook page as well as our main website because we will be offering virtual tours of the three schools later this month. And the other thing I also want to mention is to, um, you can also visit the actual school websites to get a, a little snapshot of the various programs that are being offered at each of the schools as well. All right. Well, that's all that we have for today. Um, thank you so much to Lori and Jane for sharing this wonderful information about our programs. And for those that submitted some questions, we appreciate that as well.